what to do y'all and welcome back to my channel so for today's video your girl has a doozy she has a doozy i put up a post on my community tab and you guys voted for house labs to kind of be the next brand that i feature on my channel and i figured since i was going to feature that brand I might as well pick them up on launch so i picked them up on launch it took quite some time for it to get to me they were completely backed up and unfortunately there was absolutely no stores near me which i'm very very surprised about uh that had the brand in store because i do live near dc so i would have thought that at least once for in dc let alone virginia or maryland had the products but apparently none of them did so that's that anyways i did receive these products and i kind of want to go over the packaging um and all of that jazz so if you're interested in hearing about the product details really really quickly and then we'll jump into i actually have two tutorials today then let's get to it I picked up five different products from this launch and let's just go ahead and start off with the elephant in the room and that is that unfortunately one of my products came shattered shattered beyond belief um and that was unfortunately the powder bronzer of course the one product that like i was bound to want to try the most so this is their powder sculpt velvet bronzer this has 12 grams of product and or 0.42 ounces of product i got this in the shade deep level 11 and as you can see there you got all that damage on it and in the back you got all of the information about the product detail all of that jazz so this product has a 24 month shelf life it is recyclable packaging and this is made in italy so what i will say packaging wise oh and this is talc free um this packaging feels kind of like that recyclable paper situation like legitimate recycled paper um but it's heavy duty it is the name is kind of embossed in the packaging so it says house labs by the gaga um and yeah overall i think the packaging is cool on this and that packaging does is reflected on all of the other items as well and once we get to the actual bronzer this has like a light bronze kind of soft matte covering um and there is some information on the back so this is what the front looks like and this is what the back looks like Now, like I said, my bronzer came smashed, but I will still showcase it as best as I can for you all. And I do actually use this product in both of the kind of tutorials. It also has a magnetic closure, which I actually really, really appreciate. And it shows that it when it they priced it at this kind of luxury price they not only took into account the formulations to kind of show that elevated um kind of ingredient list and stuff but also the packaging so i really really do appreciate that i also picked up one highlighter and this is their bio radiant gel to powder highlighter and i picked it up in the shade fire opal once again this has the exact same kind of packaging just a slightly different sticker situation because it is the highlighter and not the bronzer so this product is has an 18 month shelf life it is recyclable and it is made in italy this has 8.5 grams of product or 0.30 ounces of product so overall pretty pretty consistent uh, when it comes to that and if i remember correctly the highlighter was slightly more expensive than the bronzer but overall they were both pretty expensive let's face it then we got the kind of lone wolf in the pack and that is the lip product i picked up one lip product and this is their lip crayon or la monster and i picked it up in the shade mocha matte 
now like i said this is the same packaging just a different configuration for the different product and yeah it's nice so in this product you have 1.4 grams or 0.05 ounces and it has a 12 month shelf life it is recyclable and this was actually made in germany not italy so that's interesting um and yeah this is a really really interesting product i completely spaced on showing you guys the highlighter so let's go with the highlighter next the highlighters packaging is an iridescent full-on shimmery situation whereas the bronzer had a matte finish in the front this is full-on iridescent shimmery and same thing with the back i don't even think my camera is going to focus oh there we go so that's the back let me see if i can get the front to focus there you go this did not come shattered at all and this is what she looks like I got it did I say the shade the shade is in fire opal and as you can see there is a nice big mirror in this compact when it comes to the lip product the component is quite unique it kind of looks like a um, a pin a ball pin except for instead of the top being the point being here it's actually up top and you can screw it up and screw it down which I do appreciate and this this is the shape i don't actually know what the significance of the bottom is i opened it yesterday but i have absolutely no idea what the significance is none and then the last two products are in the exact same range they are just different formulations of said range and they are from the high power pigment paint range i picked up one matte and one shimmer the matte is in citrine matte and the shimmer is in rose gold so once again we got exactly same packaging only slightly different to fit the component of the product and so in both of these we have seven grams of product or 0.25 ounces um let's see they both have a 12 month shelf life they're both recyclable and they were both made in italy so pretty much a majority of the products were made in italy um only thing that wasn't made in italy that i picked up was the lip product now i do want to go ahead and swatch these things for you it might be slightly difficult for the bronzer but i'm gonna do my absolute best so once again i got the bronzer in deep 11 let me see if maybe I'll use the part that's already kind of broken. And this is the bronzer on my skin tone. So I can clearly see it in the viewfinder. I can't really see it. I don't know. Sometimes I find that my vision is just trash from this far away. But this is a really, really pretty shade. It's a, like I would say about two shades darker than my skin tone and I would say it's significantly warmer than my skin tone I believe I am a neutral olive undertone that's just what I feel I am after a couple of years of kind of just going with the flow but I do tend to do a lot of neutral undertone foundations I find that I'm olive leaning slightly warm though very slightly i don't think i have an actual true warm undertone which is why i believe i am olive because i don't also think i am straight up neutral if that makes any sense then let's swatch the highlighter and this is in fire opal so this is the shade right here fire opal very very pretty kind of orangey gold shade this is not super super unique in my collection i actually have quite a few from like looksy that could probably dupe out this shade but i love a shade like that so that's why i picked her up then we have my lip shade which is pretty much the only shade you can see on my lips but i did add a gloss so i figured i'll just go ahead and swatch this as well this is they claim to be mocha matte so like a brown matte but i find that this has a rosy undertone so it looks a little like dark purple with a lot of brown in it you know or a dark pink with quite a bit of brown like somewhere in there you know so yeah anyways that is that shade they're um matte in citrine i'm just gonna blend this out with my finger and then we have the shade in rose gold 
Okay, so Citrine is right here and Rose Gold is right here. I will say that I heavily swatched these two shades just to make sure you guys can see them. And let's zoom in so you guys can see everything on my hand. So up here is the bronzer in Deep 11. Right here is the highlighter in, I think, Fire Gold. This is Mocha brown or mocha matte this is the citrine matte and this is the rose gold uh, eye pigment or kind of high pigment product so these are the five products that i picked up i didn't want to go overboard and honestly this was expensive this was somewhere in the hundreds of dollars well hundred of dollars um mark and that was a lot for me right now in this kind of low buy mentality but i really thought that this would add some value to my channel and that would also help you all and i really think this will help you guys so i would say stay tuned if nothing jump to the end where i give you guys my thoughts because i think this will truly truly help you guys in your decision making on what to and what not to buy so i'm not going to give you guys too many more hints let's just dive right in hey guys so i'm very very excited i got in my goodies finally from one of my last sephora orders that i made um after my no buy low buy situation uh and so i figured what i would do is kind of do more or less a full face because i have picked up couple of things here and there um and so i figured it might be cool to kind of showcase a little bit more than just the new house labs products that i did pick up so anything that is project pan or is like something that is just unnecessary for you guys to see i will speed through but i figured i'd give you guys that kind of disclaimer before we really got into it First thing I'm going to do is just use my normal, which is my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I have already gotten my opinions on the Danessa Myricks um, Blur Primer, which crossing your fingers and mine, you guys will see next week my full face of Danessa Myricks because it doesn't look like her product is releasing as soon as she kind of publicized on Trend Mood. Continue project panning i'm just going to continue on with my full spectrum matte ambition foundation this is the one that is in neutral two and sis is having difficulty pumping which is not cute there's plenty of product left in this oh my good gracious okay that's fine Okay, next we are going to actually use the LYS Cream Bronzer. Now I got the shade in Courage, which is their tan. I just thought that this once again was going to be the best shade for me. Um, and I did pick this and I did pick this up from Sephora. So it is that triangle packaging. Oh, I'm playing myself every time this season. Every time this season. Wow. Okay, Blake. So I clearly need the dark, the next shade. I, I swear I've been checking these models and these models that they have advertising these shades are my complexion. I just can't trust Sephora anymore for any of their swatches, products, anything. I could have used that as a bloody foundation or a concealer. I mean that did absolutely nothing okay all right well i will say this it blended out really nicely but that did absolutely nothing here to show something new we'll just use the charlotte oh actually i haven't used the nars with you guys almost burned the house down i could not find this baby okay so i found her and i'm pretty sure i haven't used this on camera so we'll just use this i know this is dark enough yeah so i got this in laguna 04 and i actually like it i do so we're gonna use a sponge because it's in a pot and okay so it's nice it doesn't necessarily appear super super apparent in screen but it is warmer than my complexion but it is more of like my skin tone but with a warm 
undertone um i also will say there is a scent uh it's quite like beachy type situation like i could see this being a perfume um because it has that like coconut breathe summer situation so do be aware of that i don't find that i have broken out with that as a you know as a cream bronzer and i have used that cream bronzer quite a bit but like i said i clearly need a darker shade of the um lys cream bronzer so hmm I guess I see another Sephora order in my future because I really want to get all of the right shades so I can do a bronzer week, but I keep making my life more difficult by not getting the right shade. Okay, we're going to do my normal powder, Project Pan, Peach Perfect from Too Faced, and then we have some stuff from House Labs, which I'm actually really, really excited for. So let's get into that. Okay, so I am powdered down and I do have a powder bronzer from House Labs. Cross your finger, this is the right shade. And this is Deep 11. The sticker looks darker than me. I've, I've got to get this one right, okay? I am batting O for like a thousand this, month, this season when it comes to bronzers. But I'm going to get it right. I'm going to get it right. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm concerned. There's powder on the outside of my packaging, but it's a really nice kind of cream-ish bronzer shade. All right. Okay batting O oh for a thousand. O oh for a thousand. Okay, let me find a brush. <sighs> All right, so this is a brush. It's from Peach and, Peach and Pearl. I would not recommend this brand if they are still available um, or still, you know, working i didn't have a very good experience anyways let's try it i'm just gonna try and use this as like a loose bronzer but i don't even know if i'm gonna really be able to pick up the formula because of the fact that it is broken i will say this though the formula feels like it glides on it feels like more baked gelée than anything and on top of that i think the shade is perfect i think i actually got a really good shade this time it is warmer than my skin tone and it is also darker it's about i would say about two to three shades darker than my skin tone and warmer um but clearly i need a new one so this is going to be a fun conversation with the sephora representatives uh because this is how it came i literally took it out the sephora package and put it in my little oh okay it's okay it's okay let's see what else i picked up so i also picked up one of the highlighters but i know i picked up a shade but i also picked up two of their like cream formulas so i picked out a matte yellow of course and then i picked out the rose gold shimmer so i figured this could be an eye look but i kind of want to try their matte yellow as a cream blush as well you guys know i love me some yellow blush and and i'm gonna try my cream blush brushes that i am the worst at trying when i try to do a new makeup so this is a royal and nail nickel it says 405 i don't know if that's the name of the brush but that's what i got oh instant pop cheek brush so this is in the shade citrine in case you were wondering and this is from the matte formulation i do have a palette but it's dirty with 
foundation from my Danessa Myricks testing out. So we're just not going to use that. So this is the little bit. I like to start off with a little bit. I like to kind of get it somewhat evenly over my brush and then try to apply. Can you say this was a fail? Fail, fail. Good gracious, fail. Okay, so we're gonna try This is just feeling like a video where I should have just not recorded today. I should have not recorded today, apparently. Okay, let's try that and let's see how it goes. Okay, it definitely dries down quickly, which is nice for a cream bra or for a cream blush, but I just don't like the pit. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that at all. At all. So let's try to cover her up, shall we? Let's try to cover her up. We're gonna go back into Odin's eye. You guys will have seen this on what Wednesday? Um, and it seems like a lot of people are really appreciative of the video. So I'm really happy you guys are getting some use out of this video. This is in their shade Orange Sunny. It was just the closest blush. And I mean, I guess I could have used my project pan, but I just, I had to kind of erase that. That was atrocious as a blush. So I definitely would not recommend at least this shade if nothing else do not get okay all right and if you see a sheen remember this was the brush that i used before um with both of the shades with the sheeny shade and the matte shade so that's why okay we're gonna we're gonna find we're gonna find something that works and i look like i actually know what i'm doing we're gonna find something I don't know what but we'll find it all right so this is the highlighter that i picked up and this is in the shade fire opal so once again it looks like it should match me it looks like it should work for my skin tone let's see if this one came shattered as well okay it looks good so far okay all right there's no powder on the outside we're doing good and I really like how this is more of an iridescent covering and the other one was kind of more of a matte <clears throat> okay extremely excited about this okay let's find a highlighter brush okay so this is feeling like a very smooth formula not glittery just extremely smooth well there is glitter but it doesn't it's not like only glitter you know what i mean there's definitely a pigment going under here um for me though this is definitely a highlighter i could not pull this off as a blush so i'm glad i did not try that would have just been yet another catastrophe but i will say this could work for a blush topper if you are of a lighter skin tone than me i could definitely see that really really pretty i like it i like it was it worth the money <laughs> okay all right okay i'm gonna do my brows and then we're gonna zoom in no actually while we're zoomed out let's just do my lip product so i did pick up a lip crayon i picked up the shade matte mocha because this sounded like a brown and you guys know your girl loves a brown lip product lately and i kind of wanted to try their lip product i tried to get enough to do like a full face um so let me see if i can get this out of the packaging all right so this is what she looks like it's like a crayon pencil thing what, what's on the other side i don't know if there's anything on the other side but this looks to be just a normal brown it definitely has a warmer undertone though. I would say it's more terracotta than brown. And I almost forgot I had a mirror to like my life, to make my life easier.
so there's a lot of slip with this product a lot of slip um but i can already feel it drying down that's intriguing this is what is the actual name of this this is just a lip crayon la monster lip crayon yeah there was a lot of slip when i was putting it on but you can see it's definitely more of a rosy undertone rosy terracotta kind of brick situation it's not like a true matte brown but i like it i like it and it doesn't feel like overly like mattifying on my lips so this is something i could see me getting used out of especially because it's in like this kind of sleekish packaging i really want to know what's on the other side of this thing i feel like i've seen a youtuber pop it off like nobody's business and i'm sitting over here struggling i lift weights for goodness sake i don't know what i don't know i don't know if that was supposed to be taken off girl i don't know anyways i like this okay once again was it worth the money i don't really know let me jump to me brows done and zoomed in fully uh and then we can try and do a look with the two cream shadows that i bought but i'm honestly scared i'm so scared because a lot of this has not come out really well so wish me luck okay so house labs i don't think they had a eyeshadow primer um so i'm gonna go with no primer for this kind of first look and see how it goes honestly i think i've watched a couple of videos but i can't remember off the top of my head right now whether people used a primer when they put this stuff on their lids so we are going to use the yellow as the base which is citrine again and because we saw that sis dries down we're not going to play any games okay we're playing no games and what i'm going to do is i am going to how am i going to apply this in my eye i'm gonna just dab her on and we're gonna just try to blend her out this is a bk beauty brush and who child who child oh lord take the wheel take it take the wheel i'm sure this is not how this was supposed to be done i do have oily lids by the way so that's another reason why i did not want to necessarily oh, what in the dickens just happened i just i wanted to fluff this in my crease All right, so now I was going to use this as like a buffer to really get the edges. Okay, I don't think it looks as bad as I'm sure the camera is making it. The BK Beauty brush is the 202 and this is a BH Cosmetics 06 brush. I just at this point don't even know if i want to upload this video i'm just gonna try and fill in the gaps that are now quite apparent with just a little bit more of this shade and this brush i chose a synthetic because i feel like synthetics just work with cream products a lot better and i'm just going to take the same really small amount like pea size amount okay oh gosh I am making mistake after mistake today and if you think I'm making this up this is this is really me trying to test these products out I'm this is genuine this is how I would wear these well attempt to wear them why do I look so cra I look crazy I look full-on crazy <sighs> okay next is house labs their rose gold shimmer product I genuinely don't know what to expect oh I just took out a lot all right so we're just I have a little bit on my finger I'm just gonna try and like tap this over and maybe just like get this to cover up this whole situation why is there no opacity 
Oh, good gracious. Mm. Oh. This can't be life. This cannot be my life today. What is this? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to take a flat brush. This once again is from, I think, Peach and Pearl. Once again, would not recommend. Um, I just want to see if I can get more opacity on that lid shade. I don't know what I'm going to do about that yellow, especially my under eye. My under eyes look crazy today, but let's see. I'm just going to take a bit of this and just see if I can get opacity. Okay, so if you want opacity, I would strongly recommend using a brush. Whereas if you don't and you're okay with it kind of just being see-through, then I would tell you to use your finger. I feel like I'm usually telling you guys to use your fingers, but in this case, I would highly, highly recommend using a brush. Then to kind of make me look less crazy, we're gonna go into my Project Pan palette. Yes, we are. And we are going to get a brush. We're gonna go into the Marvelous Mauve palette. My Project Pan shade, which is Wine Stain. And we're just gonna add some depth because this is just, sis is not doing it. Okay, I need to stop off camera. I just, I need to, I need to figure some things out. So give me a second, let me do this eye. And then I think unfortunately that's it for this look. <laughs> and I'll tell you guys how I feel about all the products that I've tried today. You know how usually I say, you guys, this is the finished look and we zoom in. I'm, I don't even know if I wanna play myself like that. Alrighty guys. This is the finished look. While we're zoomed in, I just want to highlight this area up here. As you can see, it looks super, super thin, but it also looks skin like the bronzer. I actually really like the formula of the bronzer. And then while we're here, let's just highlight this highlight. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's zoom out. Okay, so today was a train wreck and a half and a half and I'm thinking about it. So I'm recording this on Wednesday. As long as things work out, I should be getting off work earlier than I typically do on Thursday. So what I will do is I will film a second look testing this out to see if some of these products I just didn't give the right layering agent i'll also try and watch a couple of videos to see so that's all i got for today let's get into day number two Alrighty, guys so i'm here with all the optimism in the world to try these products for a second time a second day in a row so i've already pretty much done my base for my cream bronzer today i have the abh cream bronzer on i'll have the shade down below i am just going to go ahead and continue to apply with this extremely broken bronzer and i do want to note that i was able to contact sephora um, customer service yesterday and they are shipping me out a new one So I am just going to go ahead and put my highlighter on while I'm at it. This one, once again, is the kind of um, fire opal highlighter. Now, depending on your skin tone, this could be an actual uh, blush. But for me, it's more of a highlighter. When it comes to this shade, what I will say is I feel like it's a very, very 
smooth finished right so you're not going to see any like individual glitters i would say there is shimmer in there to kind of make it more reflective i don't know if this is my favorite highlighter shade of life though and i will just go ahead and use one of my odin's eye blushes again and i think yesterday i used orange sunny and i'll just use it again cute not the best cute not the best okay so that's that um let's just go ahead and throw on our lip product again this is in mocha matte i really like this product this is the one product that i was actually looking forward to reapplying the only thing i will kind of caution you on is that i would not consider this like a potential chunky lip liner just because of how much slip this product actually has so i'm actually going to top her off today with my tower 28 lip gloss in clear and see how this combination works yeah i like that okay so yesterday i said i was going to try this stuff with a primer under because i just did not like how they blended on my naked eye so i do have my current favorite primer which is my natasha denona eyeshadow primer and i'm also going to add even more kind of variation and i'm actually going to go ahead and use some natural hair brushes now these brushes are from ecm and these are sable hair so i think this is one of the better natural hair bristles to really get a product to move that has this type of formulation i am just going to continue to use the back of my hand that's about as much product and i'm just going to kind of start off in this outer v and blend the thing about this formula at least that i learned yesterday is you gotta blend her while she's still liquidy or you're not going to get what you want from her now from applying it over this base i don't think this is the move either because this just seems even more slippery slidey and it feels like it's not going to actually set down this way okay so we'll do that it just it doesn't it's not opaque so let me come in you see how it's not opaque it's super super patchy all all in this area and that's just the product like if i add more layer first of all you're going to be able to see that one layer is dried over uh, another layer but it's just it's patchy i just this is not a really good this is not a product that i would recommend you to get and expect to just do like one set shadow looks which is what i was genuinely hoping i'd be able to do i'm comparing this kind of in my head to the danessa myrick's color fixes and these just don't give the opacity that those do i think what i'm gonna do is try and work with this so i have that down what i'm gonna do pick up this is another ecm brush this happens to be a t43 and i'm going to go into my project pan viseart palette and i'm going to go into this mac and cheese shade and i'm going to actually pack her on on top of this and i wouldn't suggest this to actually blend out but you know in a pinch and i genuinely don't remember what brush hair this brush is but i believe this is natural as well I believe I'm not positive it's been quite some time since I've shopped the ECM website or the Muse Beauty Pro website not the ECM ECM isn't the brand name I think I want to add something on my outer V very similar to what I did yesterday so I'm gonna take um, this same Wayne Goss 19 brush I'm gonna wipe her off and this time i think i'm going to go into the sassy sienna which is the stay sassy shade and that's going to be my outer v color okay so overall right now i am actually enjoying the look but how much of it was because of these pigments you know i've only used one pigment and i've used two mattes and i'm enjoying my matte shades so there's that then like i said yesterday i have the one kind of shimmery shade which is in the shade gold rose shimmer and so i'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit on my hand as well 
and as we learned yesterday it's definitely better to use a brush than your finger i'm going to just use another ecm brush this is the w23 this is the bigger version of the 21 which if you are a subscriber of mine you know i love that brush and i don't really know what i'm gonna do with this but we're gonna start off with this inner corner situation and we're just gonna kind of fluff her and see how it goes uh. oh that went my eye i'm sure that's gonna be disastrous for me oh oh no she started to oh she's she's drying oh crud mud okay all right blake chill out just add another layer because now you've taken away the shadow okay so strong recommendation do one eye at a time i should have known that from yesterday i literally did that yesterday i don't know what i why i did what i did today but clearly you know I was a smart person yesterday, not so smart today. I like this vibe though. I like kind of what I've been able to accomplish, specifically this eye. This eye, I just, let me, I zoom in so you guys can see. So you see, can you see how it's patchy and like you see half of the color, the matte under it is no longer there. That's because I was trying to force this to move after it already had decided it was going to set. And so once that happens, I recommend just letting it fully set before you apply another layer and then it should kind of build over it. It's still not the best, but I think it's decent. I'll probably have to do maybe one more layer to get like smooth, smooth coverage there. Cause there, you can still kind of see the gapage where I forced it. It's also, I'm not really pressed for this to be perfect. Like it's after work child. What am I doing? Nothing. Um, but I'm just going to add just a little bit more just to do it um so we're going to add a little bit more to the back of my hand still using this w23 brush and we're just going to try and just pack her on right there i'm going to try not to over blend yeah that's a lot better I, whew, oh g manetti okay so what i'm gonna do is hop off camera i'm gonna kind of finalize this look i feel like it looks a little still a little patchy the outer sections like this needs some blending this needs some work okay uh, i think my lower lash line finally looks like a human being knows how to blend um which is nice but i'm just gonna add on a couple of things maybe do some lashes to try and cover up this monstrosity and then i'll come back to show you guys the finished look all righty guys so this is the finished look so this eye is still or this lash is still drying a little bit so do be kind on my last ap lash application but overall, I think this look came out really, really nicely. Why did it come out that way though, when it comes to the eye products? Mainly because of the mattes that I threw on top to kind of overtake it in the application. So let's run through the products. The bronzer, I'm actually really, really excited for this formulation and the shade. I think it was really, really nice for me personally. This is in deep level 11. So I'm really, really excited to get hopefully an unharmed version of this resent to me like i said it's already on its way but i'm really excited to actually get it in my grubby hands because i think this is a really nice formula it feels more baked gelé and it just applied really beautifully and the shade really looks nice it doesn't look too too deep compared to me but the undertone really looks nice when applied to my skin tone and i've applied it over two different cream bronzers that have kind of two different types of undertones so i'm really really excited for that as for the highlighter in the shade fire opal i think this is a really really pretty shade but i don't know if this is the best shade for somebody of my skin tone i was really attracted to it because it's this orangey kind of goldy shade and i really thought that it would pop on my skin but it just doesn't pop and even though it's smooth don't get me wrong i find that 
there I have other smooth uh, highlighters that just pop off of my skin tone so maybe it's the shade who knows but as of right now I'm not loving the shade as for the formula it's nice I do really like this kind of smooth ish formula this is very reminiscent of quite a few formulas that I do have in my collection though and for the price would I tell you that this is something that you have to pick up no but the packaging is really nice the feel is nice but is it worth it I don't really know I don't really know the one thing that I do think that you guys should check out is actually this um, lip crayon formulation I really like this lip crayon formulation it glides onto your skin there is definitely a nice amount of slip at the beginning when you're applying it on it applied super super easily you guys have seen it now twice me apply it but it also then kind of goes to more of a matte finish eventually when it dries down and I think just the combination of this with this lip gloss and I'm sure with other products it's going to be really really nice like I said I wouldn't say pick this up with the intention to use it as a lip liner although I think you can just in certain combinations I don't know if this will work with every lip product but then again I haven't tested it under any lip product so who am I to say yay or nay last formulas that I picked up from house labs are these um high power pigment paints and I I call BS okay these are not high power pigments they're actually I think quite sheer and because of that you're not going to be able to really get what I wanted out of these products specifically right now I'm only comparing them I only really have a very limited knowledge base on these types of products and that's only via Danessa Myricks. I do hope and wish to pick up some more formula in this type of uh, product because I am really interested in this type of product but I'm not loving this formulation. That said I can find a use for this in my collection so I probably will be keeping these. This I think could be a really nice base as you saw even I'm sure without having my Natasha Denona under it it was a nice base. So I think that is fine. Is it a love? No but I don't want to necessarily return it for it to go into a landfill so I will go ahead and keep it and get my money's worth because it is something I can genuinely get use out of it's just not something that I wanted to use for that purpose you know as for the cream pigment the more shimmery shade I just don't like this formulation at all so this formulation I don't like that you can't apply it with your fingers that is automatically a no in my book when it comes to a cream product I just think you should be able to really use it with your fingers especially when it's shimmery on top of that I only had makeup on yesterday for I want to say maybe three to four hours and I already saw areas where this was no longer where it was originally so my oils were already starting to eat away at the product and so that is a disappointment as well um so i'm not loving this product if i had to say kind of go for one not the other i would say go for the matte finish not the shimmer finish but honestly this would be the furthest thing that i would recommend very similar to yesterday i am going to kind of stick with my guns on this i'm going to recommend this lip product and the bronzer these are the two products that after these two kind of days of testing these products out I'm actually enjoying and I am excited to kind of see maybe I'll pick up another shade here or there so that's kind of where I'm at um that said though this is only the first and second impression so I will be definitely taking some time to get some more use out of these products to kind of to fully flush out my ideas when it comes to all of these products so stu, uh, stay tuned I do typically do my best to get a roundup out of all of my cheek products and all of my eyeshadow products palettes every couple of months um but yeah that's pretty much where I'm at hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is my makeup inventory that is already up and rolling and that's really really good because this is going to be a busy week for me in my life um and i also want to take the time to celebrate father's day with my father and my brother so i'm really excited to kind of step away from youtube i think i only have to record like one video um for sunday but i'll probably do that really really late saturday so that i can do everything um with my family on sunday and that said if i 
don't say it on Sunday's video. Happy Father's Day to any fathers that happen to be watching this video, but also to you guys. Like, you know, make sure to say Happy Father's Day to, to your father. Uh, or if you have parents that are non-binary, make sure to just recognize them on this day. So that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.